Hey everybody, this is Erica. Welcome back. So today I want to wish you all a happy free comic book day. I have been having an amazing day so far. I, uh, I'm not so much um, comic book shop hopping today as I would have liked to. It's beautiful out though. Here in Toronto, it finally feels like spring. Oh my god. <laughs> it's really great. So today I went to Silver Snail. I had to actually replace a communicator. My boyfriend bought a Star Trek communicator um, that was busted. So I went to go trade it in and I thought, you know, what, what better time than to go on free comic book day, right? So the comic book shop I go to, Silver Snail, I don't necessarily always shop there for comics, but every year they come out with an anniversary poster. And this year they have two. I don't know if they always had two. Usually it's my boyfriend Brad who picks them up. But today I got this baby. It's so cool. Now we have quite a few of these. So this is a big one. Big. So cool. Yeah. Hi. A little snail. Sweet. So I really like this one. Um, totally free. Really awesome. Um, and then I got this hot chick too. But this one was pretty cool. Let's see if I can show you this one. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. Holy shit. So yeah, it was super nice of them. They're also giving out some blind boxes out front too. Uh, now Silver Snail is located at Young and Dundas, right by Dundas Square. Really cool place. If you're looking for other uh, comic book shops here in Toronto, let's say you're coming here to visit or you live here and you're trying to find new places to go to, I definitely recommend Silver Snail, uh, Labyrinth. Labyrinth is really good for manga as well, if that's what you're looking for. Um, Harry T. Harry T. Uh, it's actually across from Silver Snail or close to there. It's really great by Young and Dundas. And then The Beguiling. The Beguiling is actually really great for more independent comics, if that's what you're looking for. Now, <laughs> speaking of comics, I'm not gonna mention one place that I would have mentioned maybe a couple months ago. I'm not gonna name the place, but I mean, as you know, if, if you checked out my Saga video, I've been reading this really awesome comic by, by Brian K. Vaughn called Saga. Now, when the 12th issue came out, I've been, I've been getting these issues, I've been getting them put in my bin. When the 12th issue came out, and I went to go pick it up, it wasn't there. And it, I went on a Wednesday, when it was supposed to come out. So I was like, that's kind of weird. All right, I wonder where it is. So I went up to the front, and I asked, and they're like, oh, well, hold on a second, we'll go look for it for you. So this guy comes back, all smug. And he was like, oh, I'm really sorry, here's your comic. And I'm like, what? <laughs> where, where was it? I was watching the guy when he went to go grab the comic and he totally grabbed it from the back of a desk, like one of the, uh, the counters, the employee counters. And I'm just like, okay, like, were you gonna take that for yourself? <laughs> uh, and he didn't totally fess up to it, but I could tell like he definitely was trying to take my issue apparently like maybe mine was one of the last ones that was still in a bin and he assumed I wasn't gonna pick it up today now I usually pick up my comics on Thursdays so I'm really happy that I did pick it up because otherwise I wouldn't have gotten issue 12 and issue 12 was a big one because uh, Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona uh, Staples are actually taking a break so not exactly the best time, not the best time. Uh, and so I don't really want to shop at that place or support that comic shop anymore. I mentioned quite a few, so you might be able to narrow it down if you know the area, but I was pretty ticked. I was pretty ticked and the guy was, um, because the, the shop is, is working with Comixology, so that you can add comics to your bin straight through there. And the guy was trying to make it seem like it was my fault that I hadn't been doing this, even though I'd been getting the past six issues. I was so pissed. 
we're not going to talk about that place, um, the place that will not be mentioned. So <laughs> try all the other places though, please. They are amazing. Now, speaking of comics, I do want to give one more shout out uh, to the Toronto Comic Arts Festival, actually. It's going to be happening next weekend, so May 11th and 12th, um, at the Toronto uh, Reference Library. So right by Young and Bloor. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be full of a lot of independent comics or comic artists. Um, and you're going to be able to find a lot of independent comics there. Just a lot of amazing stuff. You're going to meet a lot of amazing people. You know, it's not going to be your typical, you know, um, Marvel or DC um, realm. I mean, if you're going to do that, go to Fan Expo, please. <laughs> or wherever, wherever you're living. It's going to be really, really wicked, and I can't wait. So it'll be my first year, and I am psyched. So you might see some video footage. We'll see. But yeah, so I just wanted to give a big comic book shout out to everything that's going on. Wherever you are right now, try and hit up a comic book store and grab some free issues and grab some free swag and hang out with all the artists and just help support the community that you're in and help support the artists that are making these comic books happen. So yeah, it's such an amazing day and it's spring and it's beautiful out. So enjoy it and go check out a comic book store. Okay, guys? <laughs> All right. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. If there's anything you'd like to see me talk about, please let me know in the comment section below. I will be leaving links to all of the comic book shops that I've mentioned already in the section below here. <laughs> uh, so please come back again soon. Um, yeah, I'll be raving about some pretty cool stuff soon. So I'll catch you later, guys. Have a good one. Peace.